Here they are right here, Daniel Serafini and Samantha Scott, both arrested in connection to this fatal shooting that killed Gary Spore and left Wendy Wood in critical condition. Placer County authorities believe they arrested this masked man and another woman Friday in connection with the 2021 murder and attempted murder of 70-year-old Robert Gary Spore and 68-year-old Wendy Wood. Today we arrested 39-year-old Danny Serafini and 33-year-old Samantha Scott for the 2021 murder of Robert Spore and Wendy Wood in the North Lake Tahoe area of Placer County. Deputies say the suspects now in custody, Danny Serafini and Samantha Scott, knew the victims personally. They say Serafini, a former pro baseball player, is the man behind the mask, seen creeping through the front yard before family members say he got into the house, waited for the couple to come home, and shot them. We do believe that masked individual was in fact Daniel Serafini. Plaster County deputies last year said Gary Spore died on scene, but Wendy Wood survived the shooting and had enough strength to call 911. When police arrived, Wood was taken to the hospital in critical condition and worked through recovery, but died a year later. And they loved each other deeply. After the shooting, Adrian Spohr, one of the victim's daughters, worked with her uncle to put together a reward and a website for any information leading to the killers. Now two years later, Placer County officials say both federal and local authorities from California and Nevada worked together to arrest both suspects in Nevada, Scott in Vegas and Serafini in Winnemucca. Deputies not yet announcing Scott's role in the shooting, but say she may have been a nanny for the family or a close family friend. Uh, both Samantha Scott and Daniel Serafini are facing murder charges and they're both being held on uh, no bail murder charges in the state of Nevada at this time. And so Serafini is now being held without bail in Humboldt, while uh, Samantha is being held in Las Vegas. They're both being extradited to Placer County as we speak. Obviously good news for the family, if there's any good news in this, that right. this yeah. Arrests, yeah. these arrests have been made. Is there any connection, though, between the suspects and the victims? Right, so we know that Samantha, the woman involved here, was actually a family friend to these victims, wow. but the man involved here, Serafini, we found out, is the son-in-law of these victims, right? He's married to Wendy and Gary's daughter named Erin. Wow. Incredible. Zach, thank you. Thank you.